praise God, every one of you. Um, tuning in today with the man of God. I hope that this video actually come out perfect. Um, because I'm about to give you a prophetic word for the month of June. Last month, I gave you guys a prophetic word actually, and YouTube. And in less than three days, it hit over a thousand people. Um, was talking to the woman. But today, this prophetic word is actually dealing with women. And so I think it's, a, it's just a backed up word where God has given me to give you. And I want you to know that in this season and in this time, I'm doing much better. Um, in this season and this time, what God is about to do in your life, God is about to restore everything. I believe that restoration is going to be your dwelling in the month of June. And I'm prophesying that there is going to be a chan a wealth transplant. I, I, I mean, a wealth transformation, I should say, where God is about to do something new in your life. And so I want to decree today and declare that in the month of June, there is going to be a prophetic word for you that everything that the enemy have stolen from you, God is about to restore it. I believe that God wants us to be saved. He wants us to be actually sanctified. But I believe that God wants us to walk into the best that he have for us. And so this morning, I'm declaring and decreeing that there is going to be new things that's going to happen in your life in the month of June. And June is actually my birthday, the month of June. So I'm prophesying that you're going to walk in your season, the best season of your life. And I decree and declare that is done in the spirit realm. I want to get to the word of God before I even release what I'm going to release over your life. Because what I'm about to do is activate you. I'm about to speak things in the eternal realm that is about to happen in the natural. And if you believe it, you can see it when it happened. Because the word of God is quick. It is sharper than any twigged soul. And so as I'm glory be to God. I'm praying for you, woman of God. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Glory be to God. Uh, and so this morning, I want to come from 2 Kings chapter 8. And Elisha speak unto the woman, whose son he have restored to life. So the first thing Elisha did, the prophet, he restored the woman's son to life. I'm just telling you that your life is about to be restored. And and say, arose and go do that in thy house and so journey. And wheresoever do can so journey for the Lord of call for a famine. Yes, you've been going through famine. You've been going through hard time, difficult. It seems like nothing is changing in your life. That's called a famine. Okay, many of you have been going through a famine. Your finance is not changing. Your life is not changing. Your ministry is not changing. Nothing is moving. That is called famine. Oh, glory be to God. So the prophet told her, and it shall also come up in the land seven years. Seven years, you've been going through famine. Some of you have been three years. Some of you have been four years. Some of you have been 10 years. Some of you even 20 years, nothing is changing for you. You've been going through a famine for 20 years. Glory be to God. And the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of God. And she went with her household and so journey in the land of the Philistines seven years, the land of the enemy. Sometime you would have to go to the land of the enemy because what God is doing, God is storing up everything for you. And when you return, God will restore it to you. Glory be to God. I just want you to shout restoration because I feel somebody is about to have a breakthrough and the devil about to have a break, a, a, a breakdown. You ain't talking to me. I said somebody about to have a breakthrough through and the devil about to have a nerve breakdown because the devil do not want to see you have a breakthrough. Just said, restore all, Lord. 
restore everything that belongs to me must be mine in the name of Jesus. And it came to pass, this is verse three, this is second Kings and eight. And it came to pass after seven years head that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistine and she went forth crying unto the king for her house and for her land. Glory be to God. And the king talked with the servant of the man of God, that was the servant of Elisha, oh my God, saying, tell me, I pray thee, all the things that Elisha had done. My God, I'm feeling it this morning. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king how he had restored, oh my God, a dead body to life. So it, the, the servant of Elisha, Elisha wasn't there. The servant of Elisha is telling the king that this man of God restored the dead. He was a mighty man of God. Oh, he prayed. And there was a ship up in the, in, in the heaven. Elisha actually prayed. When Elisha prayed and the army was up in Elisha and he prayed, the, they, they blind, blindness came up on them. And the king heard about the prophet and respect the office of the prophet. Glory be Sata. And when the king respect the office of the prophet, the Bible said that the king said to the woman, glory be to God. A matter of fact, the king said to his servant, glory be to God, to the woman whose son he have restored to life, cried to the king for her house and for her land. And the... <clears throat> Okay, I, I, I want to go down. Okay, O oh, king, and this the woman, and this is her son, who Elisha uh, restore life. Uh, verse 6, and when the king asked the woman, she told him. And so the king appointed unto a certain officer, saying, restore all that was hers and all the fruit of the field since the day that she left the land and even until now so what the woman received my god the woman received things that she didn't work for what did god said to us we are going in the land and when you go over into the land to possess what god had for you you're going to eat fruit that you didn't plan you're going to drink uh, milk and honey jesus was prophesied in to moses and saying when you go to the promised land all of these things you will receive let me tell you the prophet elisha told the woman glory be to god and the prophet Elisha told the woman that leave the land and when you come back I'm going to give you a prophetic activation that even if you leave God is still going to be with you one word can activate your ministry one word can turn your life around one word can change things and I believe that when you walk into the activation that God have for you and the prophetic that God have for you. Everything will be restored. The woman house was restored. His land was, his, her property was restored. Fruit that she didn't work for was restored. Everything restored back to her. And I heard God told me to tell you today, the things that the palm worm, the things that the caterpillar, the things that the devil of eat up, the things that the witch tried to take from you. God God said, give him a shout because he's about to restore everything and let the hater keep on hating. Because God said, when I restore it, they are going to know that I am God because nothing be done in the earth realm without God. The Bible said, if anything come from God, from any good gift, it come from God. And I prophesy today that today will be your day that you're about to step over in the month of June and you're about to step over into the supernatural and the king is about to restore everything. The governor is about to restore everything. The 
office is about to restore everything. I want you to shout restoration because some of you been waiting for restoration for a long while. Some of you been waiting for a breakthrough for a long while. Some of you been waiting for a miracle for a long while. Some of you been waiting for people to give it to you. God said, Activate your faith and believe me and step into the season of more than enough because we are prophetic people. That mean we prophesy to the wind and the wind have to obey us. We prophesy to the cloud and the cloud have to obey us. We prophesy to our finance and our finance have to obey us. We prophesy to sickness and sickness have to go. We prophesy to power poverty and poverty got to go. We prophesied to pain and pain have to go. We prophesied and when we prophesied, God said, I will not allow your word to fall to the ground. So when you prophesy the thing, God said, I'm going to restore it and it's going to happen express. I decree and declare that God will give me an express uh, restoration. I decree and declare that I will be uh, more than a conqueror. God just told me to tell you whatever he's going to do in this season, he's going to do it suddenly. Some people ain't going to like it, but it's going to happen suddenly. Some people can't stand it, but it's going to happen suddenly. God said what I'm going to do. The day is shortened, so the time is closed, and I need to remove in the earth realm. And God said if you open your mouth, I will fill it with a prophetic word to speak to the nation. God said, if you're willing to subject, I'm willing to restore everything to you. God said, if you're willing to obey, I'm willing to make you walk in the promise. God said, if you're willing to honor, I'm willing to honor you. God said, if you're willing in this time and season for your blessing, shout restoration. Let the devil drop dead and tell him I'm walking in the supernatural because it belongs to mine. I told you it belongs to me. Why did the children of Israel when they was in Egypt, the Bible said they was in Egypt. Why did they go in Egypt? Because of their disobedience. But because they was in Egypt, that didn't mean that the promised land wasn't to them. It wasn't theirs. The promised land was theirs before the foundation of time. But what happened? Their disobedience bring them in Egypt. So when God take them out of Egypt, God said, I'm going to bring you in back in your promised land. I'm going to let you kill every Jezebite. I'm going to let you kill every Moabite. I'm going to let you kill every Hittite. I'm going to let you kill every Parasite. I'm going to let you kill every Malachite. I'm going to let you possess the land because it belongs to you. But the enemy was occupying it. My God. The enemy was occupying it. Simple mean what the enemy was doing for you. He was preparing your table. Glory be to God. What did God said, I will let your enemies prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I want to tell you that while the those Jezebites was in the and the Amorites was in the land, they was preparing a table for God people. But when God get ready, he said, I'm taking you into the promised land. I don't care how much Jezebite try to kill you. I don't care how much Moai try to stop you. I don't care how much eat I come against you. I don't care how much sin I try to sin, make you fall in sin and messed up. God said what belongs to you belongs to you. And God said speak it. Restoration. This is the season of harvest. This is the season of breakthrough. This is the season of miracle. And I decree and declare that I'm going to possess it all. So this is your season. If you believe that, you can possess it. If you don't believe, you cannot receive. Why? Because faith is belief. And I believe that God is going to do a new thing in some of you life. That many people is not going to like. But God said, 
I'm not a respecter of person. Simple mean that God in all his majesty, majesty and power, with all his dominion and with his supreme power, God is not a respect of person. So what God is going to do in your life, it don't matter if a person like you or not. Because God is not a respecter of person. So what God do is going to bypass your enemy and bring you into the promised land. If you don't have no enemies, you don't have no battle to fight. So God said, listen, when a prophet activates you to step into the supernatural, don't wait for five years. The woman of God honored the word. Do you know that same woman that actually make a little room for the prophet Elisha or told the prophet told her that she shall conceive and bring forth a child. She conceived. She said, man of God, do not lie to me. She conceived. She bring forth the child. Then the boy died. My God. Huh. Then Elisha raised up the boy and Elisha, the woman put the prophet in her life because the woman know I have to have a connection with the prophetic. And the woman said, I put him in my life because I have to know what God is saying. The woman see the man of God and know that he was a man of God. When you see a man of God, you're supposed to know if he's a man of God. His lifestyle represent him. The things that he do represent him. Glory be to God. And because the woman of God know that, she said, I'm going to make a room in my house for the prophet. And, and, and the prophet from that day the prophet give her instruction. And she followed the instruction of the man of God from that day. And she never ran out. My God. God just told me to tell you that if you follow my instruction in this time, not, not, not mine, his, you will never run out. Move when God say move. Prophesy when God say prophesy. Run when God say run. Because God is going to do a new thing in this season and this time. Can you receive it? Can you receive it? Can you receive it? Do you know what God has for you is for you? You may come against the giant, but it's still for you. I prophesy right now. I prophesy to every one of you that are going through financially and God will restore you. I prophesy that the month of June will be the month of restoration in your finance. I prophesy that your life will come in alignment with the word of God. Glory be to God. Because I'm looking in the spirit and a lot of you are shift from the uh from the mission and the purpose that god called you to fulfill you are called in the earth realm to fulfill a purpose and if you live without fulfilling your purpose it make no sense living god puts something in you and it's called the seed of the holy spirit the holy spirit pregnant you it it, it, you are pregnant with, with what God desired to come to pass. And you are overdue, like what Joyce Meyer would say. You are overdue, glory be to God, with, with, with a baby that you're carrying around. I believe that many of you are overdue with, with purpose. And you're waiting for something to happen for you in the spirit realm. 
you're waiting for approval from somebody or uh, uh, a person. God said, activate. Activate. Activate your spirit. Your Activate the mission that he put in you. Because you have a purpose. I was talking about woman with, with, with vision and purpose a, a, a few a few um um few days ago and that video probably hit over two thousand people already and, and the people that God I've been want to speak this word forever and God said this is the time and I just speak it and I want to tell you that today God said restoration restoration it, when you talk about restoration you're talking about rebuild you're talking about redesign. You're talking about reset. You're talking about thinking some things over. You're talking about um, sit down, go back to your blueprint. Because God is about to rest, uh, give you restoration. But you have to understand, when God restore everything to you, what are you going to do with it? Because everything can be restored back to you, but you must have a purpose. Glory be to God. You must have a purpose. And some of you are overdue, my God. You're carrying around a baby for 25 years and nothing happening in your life. You're carrying around a ministry for 50 years and nothing happening in your life. That's why many of you are not happy. Because you are not activating what God called you to do. You are unhappy. You are sad. Remember last week I was talking about pleasure. Oh, God love pleasure. God is a God of happiness. And when you cannot be happy, it's because you are not doing something that God called you to do. If you always look mean and always look ugly and always look sad and always look religious, like some church folks, you are not doing what God called you to do. Because Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I just want to tell you, my voice is not 100% clear, but I just want to tell you today that you should and Going to walk in what God called you to walk in. Let's, let's believe God today. For the best is yet to come. I'm walking in my season of restoration. God is restoring everything. Glory be to God. That the enemy have stolen. I'm so blessed that today I wake up with Jesus and my mind. And before I go now, I, I always give people a, 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 a chance to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because with all the restoration and the miracle and the, and the breakthrough and the financial change in the earth realm and all that God is doing in our life, we also have the right to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And somebody said, how can I accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior? You must repent. The Bible said repentance is telling God that you're sorry for what you have done and, and a change of mind. Two, you must be baptized. Baptized means that you were buried with him when you go down in that water. Three, you actually must glory be to God. You must glory be to God. You must, you must actually also glory be God. Glory be to God. That's the male man. You must also um, be, receive the Holy Spirit. I was distracted a little. Receive the Holy Spirit. And that's that's the way it is done in the Bible. And I'm not going around the Bible. I go by the, the Bible, the context of the Bible and the, the word. And so today I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. 
And somebody may say right now, man of God, I, I'm, um, I've been baptized, but I can't receive the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you why many of you have not received the Holy Spirit. It's a lot of blockage. The Holy Spirit, if, if you if hate, if envy is, if it's covetousness, if you got anything in your heart, the Holy Spirit will not enter in. You have to get it all out. You got to release everybody from your mind, from your soul, from your heart, from your spirit. And then the Holy Spirit can come in. You don't have to fight for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come right in. But you got to let people go. Let everything go. And so I want to pray for you today. I love you all. I'm not here to condemn you. I'm just here to tell you that God love you. And I love you. I love you so much. I find out that this is what God, I'm, if anybody asks me what I'm carrying right now, I would tell you that I'm pregnant with the spirit of love. That's, that's all. I want to love people. I want to love people. I want to have the spirit of love so much that the love of God will be running to me. Oh, glory be to God. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word and we speak today. We bind every spirit of darkness, every spirit that would come against our restoration. We cancel every attack in the spirit realm. Father, we decree and declare. Right now, God, everything that the enemy has stolen, in everything that the enemy has stolen from your people, I decree and declare that there shall be restoration in their life. I bind and paralyze every assignment. Father God, push back every forces, drive back every wickedness. I decree that the heaven is shifting. I decree that the atmosphere is turning. I decree that the blessing of God is about to pour out and your people. I decree that there is a change in the spirit. I decree that God open the wind of heaven, let it pour down and your people. I decree that restoration shall fall in their basket and I decree that they shall be blessed when they come in when they go out I decree that every witch every palm reader every voodoo every eye power every demons that come against their prosperity God I command the thunder oh God to shift in the heaven and to strike darkness and move the blockage move the spirit of darkness I decree and declare that there is a wave in the spirit and, and those wave is miracle and breakthrough i decree that restoration is in the spirit i decree and declare that you will not lose your mind you will not go crazy i decree and declare that everything that god have for you will be yours i decree and declare that you are governed by the heaven realm and by the spirit of god i decree and declare that every true every enemies that come to steal your office I decree that the enemy will be attacked by the angel of God I decree and declare that God will set an angel around your door with cherubim of fire and I decree with a flame of fire to protect your pro to protect your property to protect your destiny to protect your purpose to protect the desire that God have for you I decree and declare that every Every mouth of the enemy shall be closed according to the power of God that God invests in me. Let the enemy, when they speak their word against the man of God and against you as woman and man of God, let the word go back seven times with fire and consume their word. I decree and declare that the assignment is break down in the spirit realm. I decree and declare that the plan is canceling the spirit realm. I 
decree and declare that the forces is bind with uh, with chain and fetter right now in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of poverty. I bind the spirit of discouragement. I bind the spirit of pain. I bind the spirit of wickedness. I bind the spirit of suffering. I bind the spirit of drought. And I decree a uh, abundant blessing, a uh, great basata, abundantly blessing, miracle. I decree that God shall be your head and you shall follow the principle of the kingdom of God. I decree that your house shall be prosperity. I decree that your highway shall be righteousness. I decree that you shall walk into the purpose that God called you to walk in. I decree that your house shall never run out. Your money shall never run out. Your bank account shall never run out. Your salvation and your anointing that God have given to you shall never run out. I decree and declare that the angel of God is about to seal your restoration. And as the month of June come, he shall open the basket in the heaven. And when God open it, it shall be a pour down in the spirit. I decree and declare that the fire of God is consuming. It's burning every plan of darkness. It's burning up every wickedness. It's burning up every enemy. I decree and declare that now is the season and the time for you to possess what God told you to possess. You've been in seven years of famine according to the government and the, the, the decree of God in the spirit realm. After seven years, there shall be a debt cancellation according to the limitation of America, I decree and declare that every debt that you hold after seven years, just like the woman in Second Kings and eight, that after seven years, the king have to restore everything. I decree and declare that all your debt must cancel according to the governor and the law of God. After seven years, there shall be a debt cancellation. I decree and declare clear that I am not just walking in the land of just enough, but I'm walking in the land of more than enough. I decree and declare that prosperity will be my inhabitant. I decree and declare that blessing will be my resting place. I decree and declare that joy will be my peace through the year. I decree and declare that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy and is right and dare is pleasure forevermore. Bless me, O oh God. Increase my territory. Extend my border. Send supernatural help to help me, God, in these times. Give me provision. Oh God, send people in my life that mean me good. Bring those out that don't mean me good. I decree and declare that my community shall be blessed. I decree and declare that my president shall be blessed. I decree and and declare that my institute shall be blessed. I decree and declare that the governor office and the lesser, uh, uh, the governor office and Capitol Hill shall come under the subjection of the word of God and they shall be blessed. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against this country shall prosper and I break down the weapon of darkness. I decree and declare that America is blessed. I I decree and declare that we shall have troop of weapon that walk in the spirit realm to bind every plan. I decree that every Caribbean is blessed. I decree and declare that we are walking in the blessing of God and it is yea and amen. Shake it together now, God. I decree that our blessing is coming from the east, is coming from the west, is coming from the north, is coming from the south and I decree that it shall come together and it shall work an hour be off in the name of Jesus. Send your miracle, send your breakthrough, send your deliverance, send your power, send your supernatural uh, provision. God, I decree and declare that now is the hour. I receive it in the heavenly. I hope in my heart to receive 
receive your blessing. I push my hands towards heaven and I receive everything God has for me. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. If you receive it, you are blessed today. My time is up. I'm finished. I just receive what God have for me. What about you? God said, I want 20 of you right now. Said, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. And God said, when you say that, declare over your life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, my God. Weapon of wickedness, you will not prosper. I bind your plan, you hater spirit. Break in the name of Jesus, I decree. I walk in the power of God. I walk in the move of God. I speak with audacity. I speak with power. I speak that things are changing. And I don't need you to govern what God is about to do. Because God can do it with you and god can do it with me praise him give him your best praise celebrate what god is about to do celebrate what god is about to do i feel somebody is about to restore life god said speak life over 10 people right now 10 people that feel like dying i decree and declare my god you shall not die my god but live to declare the works and the glory of the Lord. My God, I shall not die. I'm not going to die. Devil, I'm going to live all my days. I'm going to live until I can't live no more. Until I'm ready to go home to glory. I want you to decree it again. The devil didn't hear that. I shall not die. But live. To declare the glory of the Lord. I just want to declare this over a woman of God yesterday. That telling me that she's going all this problem. I'm not going to call her name. But I'm going to call her name in the spirit realm. She shall not die. But she shall live in the name of Jesus. Because a lot of people are going through financial difficult. And they're saying, God, why you have me here? God, why I'm going through so much? Why? I heard a woman of God said, I just ready to go to glory. I, I can't take it. I can't take it. I want to go home. She said, I can't go through all of this. I decree and declare that that word will not come out your mouth again. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the glory of God. You shall not die. The devil is a liar. I decree that you shall not die. I decree that you shall not die. I decree that you shall not die. Finance ain't gonna make you feel like dying. I, I'm decreeing it right now. Problem of life ain't gonna make you feeling like dying. Yesterday I was going through a heavy warfare while I was under subway, and I just God said, "Speak, just speak to my people." And I just start preaching, and I decree that I'm on my way to heaven. But while I'm on my way to heaven, that was a sermon. I'm gonna tell somebody about Jesus, and I preach a sermon. Do you know I'm on my way to heaven? Yeah, I, I was just telling somebody. I was just shouting. I was just praising God. And everybody in the subway was clapping and praising God with me. Because some people is going to. But I just want to tell you, your problem is not going to be forever. Where everything that you're facing in this life, you're on your way to heaven. But while you are in this life, you're going to live all the days of your life until God ready to take you to glory. I'm on my way to heaven. And while you're on your way to heaven, you're going to come up against some battle. You're going to come up against some demons. You're going to come up against some principality. You're going to come up against 
in some enemies, but I just want to tell you, you're passing through. So you got to step past your enemies. You got to step past the demons. You got to step past the weapon. You got to step past them. Oh my God. You got to step past the lion. You got to step past the bear. Because when you pass those demons, those bear, those lions, you ain't going to see them no more. I'm on my way to heaven. And I decree and declare as I prophesied restoration over your life. Everything that you passed this year, you ain't going to look back to it. I'm stepping past crisis. I'm stepping past pain. I'm stepping past depression. I'm stepping past child. I'm stepping over it. And I decree, declare, decree, and declare that the blood of Jesus is over my life. So I don't have to look back. I ain't looking back. Tell the devil I'm not looking back. I'm looking forward. Forward still is Jehovah will. Do the pillar dash and spray. I'm pressing on because the upright way I decree and declare today that you are blessed. Receive your blessing. I'm going. My time is up. My time is up. But I want you to shout it one more time. Restoration. <laughs> I said shout it in that atmosphere. Restoration in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Uh oh. Oh, I just have to give God one more shout. Whoa! Restoration in the name of Jesus. I, I, I didn't hear. Can somebody just give God a shout this morning for what God is going to do in your life? I feel like giving God one more shout and let the devil know that I believe God for everything that God says he's going to give me. I'm going to give him one more shout. I'm going to give him one more shout. Whoa! Restoration, ekoshabosa, makoshebebe sataya, reba ba 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 seto shamama, reba soto shebebe, reba ba ba shamama, rebi be be sete pe shebebe, rubo sata ma 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 ma, reko shebebebe sata, rebe be 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 be, rebe soto shamama, rebo sataya. I believe God. That's it. I believe it. Bye, bye, and bye. I love you all. I got to go. I, I have to give God that shout. I, I have to give him that shout. My God, I feel him. I feel him. When you shout, you are telling the devil everything that the devil sent is canceled. And you are telling the devil everything that he sent is not going to prosper. And you're telling the devil, I already possess the land. It just needs to come into manifestation. And I just want to tell you, by and by for now, give me some heart. I thank you for those hearts. I love you. 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 Remember that the, our main goal today is to focus on salvation with all everything. I have to go back there. With everything that we possess, love God more than these things. Love Jesus Christ more than these things. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.